humans can make a lot of noise. But our understanding of how these sounds may impact the natural world is still new. There's really been a growing interest in the effects of introduced noise on wildlife. Some of that comes uh, from just a growing realization um, about the effects of different types of human activities on wildlife, but also it comes from the technological advances. One of these technological advances is a computer program designed by Reed to predict how human-caused noises impact natural environments. This program allows users to consider various factors when determining where sounds might impact wildlife on the landscape. In some cases, there are animals that will avoid or limit their use of areas that are noisy due to introduced human noise. There's also quite a lot of evidence that sound can interrupt communication for vocal animal species. It also interrupts the ability of predators and prey to locate each other. And then in some cases, they're showing that the disturbance from introduced noise is great enough that it can impact reproductive success. Check the settings on the MP3 player. Today, Reed and the Wildlife Conservation Society are in the Madison Valley, studying how residential subdivision sounds may impact wildlife. And there's quite a wide variety of things people do on their private lands, and we don't really have a good understanding of which are likely to impact what wildlife species occur there and which aren't. And while Reed's computer program has made analyzing sound on the landscape easier, there is still a lot to learn about wildlife and sound. And I think we have not only a potential to learn more about how we're impacting wildlife, but also to understand more how wildlife are using their acoustic environment to, to navigate, to use their habitat, to find mates, etc. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.